everyone, my name is Tara Missful and welcome back to my Star Stable Online Let's Play with Phoenix and Firebird. I've been hopping on each day to take care of Firebird and do the stable chores, so as you can see she's slightly less depressed than she was in the last episode. Um, and I really want to thank you guys for the positive... Um, I don't know, positive reaction you had to this Let's Play. Um, seems like a lot of you were quite happy about it, so that's that's really cool. I'm I'm glad. Um, I was kind of worried no one would be interested, but it seems like people are. So that's that's always that's always good to hear. Um, anyway, <laughs> we can go ahead and get straight into the quests. And there's one with Justin right now. I don't understand why Star Stable hasn't updated him yet. Like seriously, he's like one of the really important characters, and he still hasn't been updated. But may has and Andy at the sheep pen has I don't know um let's talk to Justin though my dad Thomas wanted to meet you apparently he wants to ask you about something very important I'm scared it might be about our troubles here Mr. Campbell, a nasty boss from the company GED, is doing everything he can to evict us so that he can demolish the stables and build luxury condos here we're still trying to figure out what we can do to stop him, but he's as slippery as an eel. You should be able to find Thomas outside the stable, near Jenna. You know, the girl who showed you the square track. Okay, let's go talk to Thomas. He hasn't been updated either. But honestly, I don't really see Thomas as that important a character because once you get past the initial quest, you don't really talk to Thomas for any reason. You tend to kind of forget he exists. Well, that just might be me. I've kind of forgot he existed. Hi, Thomas. Thank you for coming so fast, Phoenix. The situation with Mr. Campbell from GED is getting out of hand and I need your help. Sure, I'll help you. <laughs> Hello, random stable girl who just joined up. I need your help with this massive issue. Sure. Okay, so Thomas has been added to our journal. I don't know if Loretta was added, and I can't remember which one is this one. No, it doesn't look like Loretta was added, which is weird because we talked to her. Um, and Jenna wasn't added, and Tan wasn't added, but Thomas has been added. He's 57, the stable owner. He likes Yorkshire pudding. Thomas is the kind-hearted owner of Moreland Stables. He and his staff go above and beyond to make all new riders feel welcome and supported. Thomas founded the stables with his wife, Catherine, as a family business. He is grooming his son, Justin, to take over someday. And unfortunately, Catherine is deceased. Okay. What can I do to help you, Thomas, even though I just got here and you seem to be placing a lot of trust in me as a person you just met? I just heard that he is almost convinced the council that GED has the rights to the land and there's hardly any time left to stop him. Right now, his creepy surveyors are setting up their equipment so that they can make a detailed map for the planned demolition. I'm the true owner of this land, but I need time to prove that to the council. Can you help me save Moreland Stables? We have to delay Mr. Campbell's surveyors to buy some time. All you have to do is turn off their GPS equipment. They're setting them up in the area outside the stable, between here and the hills where their construction site is. I've marked more or less where the GPS equipment is on your map. Good luck. Okay, I mean, that's a lot of responsibility to put on someone you just met. Like, hey, you just showed up to spend, like, your vacation time here. Quick, help me save my stables from the bad guy. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go do this, I guess. Let's go turn off this equipment. I'm not sure... I mean, I, I guess it's not exactly illegal, but it's... Okay, I'm pretty sure we can't let these guys see us, I think. I don't know. Let's see what happens if I... Okay, he doesn't really seem to care that I turned it off right in front of him. That's fine. Oh my gosh, I forgot how slow Firebird is. Well, it's not just Firebird, it's also Phoenix. Like, we're both slow, because Phoenix... Phoenix is kind of new to riding this pony. Um, They're still sorting things out and Phoenix isn't the most experienced rider either so yeah oh hello dude over there oh this is the last one okay okay we're done let's go back to Thomas and tell him we've done his <laughs> evil work 
I'm helping save the stables. It feels kind of like every, like every horse movie ever. Girl shows up and then it's all put on her to save the stables from some bad company that wants to tear them down. Okay. Splendid, good work. I truly appreciate it. That will delay them for a while. Now I've at least got a little time to build my case against Mr. Campbell from, for the council. Uh, you're welcome, dude. Let's continue talking to you. What am I going to do, Phoenix? Mr. Campbell is really putting pressure on me with all these legal documents. I'm sure I could stop him if I just had a little more time. Hmm. If he wants to play dirty, I'll show them he has met his match. You mean you're going to make me do stuff instead of you? Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Ride past the blacksmiths and up toward the hills. Along the road, there is a power distribution box just where the road turns at the construction site. It should be possible to turn off that horrible sign by turning off the power there. Here, I'll mark it on your map. That should buy us some more time. Okay. Why don't you do any... I mean, I guess it would be kind of suspicious. They really suspect him if they saw Thomas around there but like there's tons of people riding horses around here so another rider isn't really going to be that suspicious to the oh well we just collided with someone but another rider isn't going to be that suspicious to the GED workers and it looks like Conrad has a quest for me as well and Tan has a quest for me <gasps> so many quests is this where we're meant to go oh Look how beautiful Moorland is ever since they updated it. It's amazing. Like, I feel like I couldn't really appreciate it until I played, you know, these quests again and started this new. It's so pretty. Okay, let's turn this off. Um, I think it turned the lights off on that sign, I think. Okay, come on, Firebird. Let's head right on back. We've been asked to do a lot of shady things, <laughs> and it's like our second day on the island. That's fine. The people here are honestly so trusting, and they're just happy to give you money for doing any chore that they can't be bothered doing. <laughs> that said, they don't give us that much money when you look at how much clothes and things cost. Oh, and Maya has a quest for us as well. Everyone wants to talk to us. <laughs> I think I can hear that nasty man shouting all the way over there. Now I have a bit more time, just what I needed. Now we don't have to see that horrible GED sign anymore. I mean, you can still see it, dude. It's just the lights aren't on, but it's daytime, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. Okay, I guess I'll continue talking to Thomas. What's next? All I need to do is prove I actually own the land, then I can stop Mr. Campbell. There is a deed to Moreland Stables that my father was given over 50 years ago by the Baroness of Silverglade, who lives in the castle. I can't find the documents here, but I think that our old account accountant, Mrs. Holdsworth, must know where the title deed is. She knows everything about our business. She retired last year and now spends her days taking care of the flowers outside her little cottage. Go see her. She should be able to tell you where the documents are. You can find her in the little red wooden cottage just outside the stables, close to the beach. I mean, you're just gonna trust a total stranger with the deed to your land? What if I'm a spy for Mr. Campbell? Seriously, I, I could totally be a spy for Mr. Campbell. That'd be kind of cool if you had the option to side with the Soul Riders or side with the Dark Riders. That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> that would be really cool if that was a, an option in this game. Mrs. Holdsworth's house. They should update Mrs. Holdsworth too. I don't think her house has been updated, but oh, it's so cute. Little red, little red house. Why, hello, dear. What can I do for you? Uh, what are you pointing at? Okay. Hmm, let me think. I believe there was a deed of ownership, but it got lost some years ago. When Thomas Morland's wife, Catherine, died in childbirth, Thomas lost all interest in papers and documents and just wanted to spend time with his horses. All the paperwork was put in a chest and sent over to Catherine's father. And there's a good chance that the title deed was in that chest. Her dad is Jasper Holbrook, and the child that was born is, of course, Justin. Jasper blames Thomas for Catherine's death, and they haven't spoken in 20 years. It's a tragedy that this feud has been going on for so long, but if anyone has the title deed, it would be the old man Jasper. 
It won't be easy convincing him to part with it, though. You'll find Old Man Jasper along the road leading to Fort Pinter, close to a, a wall. Um, good luck, dear. Mrs. Holdsworth is so good. I wish she would bake me a pie. I can't remember what kind of pie she makes. Is it pumpkin pie? Or is it apple pie? I don't know. I love both pies. I love pumpkin pie and apple pie. Okay, let's go retrieve this deed from cranky old Jasper. I actually like Jasper. He's a pretty cool character. And he needs to be updated. Because I say when he's updated so many of these characters, they're so old and kind of... Yeah. <laughs> kind of weird looking. Okay. Hello, Jasper. <laughs> old Jasper's house. What? <laughs> Firebird, are you scared of Jasper? He's just an old man who's smoking a pipe. You, you shouldn't smoke, dude. It's not good for you. Well, you found me, and now you can leave me alone again. Hello to you, too. And I leveled up! <laughs> the music is so happy when you level up. Also, I love that this Yorvik pony has a heart on its butt. It's so cute. Bah, what do I care if Moreland Stables is raised to the ground? That place killed my daughter, and I've hated the Moorlands for the better part of 20 years. If you think you can change that, you're welcome to try, but I won't help you. 20 years is a long time to hold on to that much anger, and it's, it's going to destroy you being that angry for so long. It really is going to mess you up. Okay. So, let's see if Justin can help us convince Jasper that, um, convince Jasper that this stranger he just met, that he should give the title deed of the land to this random chick he just met. Sorry, I just still find it funny how, how everyone's suddenly turning to me when they just met me five minutes ago. Oh, Justin, help! Your grandfather's being selfish and he's in the way of Moreland being saved. Ooh, Brittany Lava Bird. That is such an awesome name, Lava Bird. It's like a bird made out of lava. Hi, Phoenix. Have you seen my grandfather, Jasper? That crazy old man hates us and nothing would please him more than to see our stable raised to the ground. Okay. Take it you guys don't talk. I mean, I imagine you wouldn't considering Justin's mom died giving birth to him. I can see a lot of resentment being there. I don't know how I could make that old fool of a grandfather change his mind. I know that my mom really loved my dad, Thomas. What happened was a terrible tragedy. That'd be also a massive burden on Justin knowing that... I mean... <laughs> I don't want to say he was the reason his mum died, but, like, she died bringing him into the world. So that would be a massive burden on him. And I imagine he'd also hold on to some guilt as well. I have these letters from my mum and dad that they wrote to each other before they got married. They prove it was true love. I've been thinking of showing them to my grandfather, Jasper, but never really dared. If he saw them, he would realise that Catherine and Thomas really loved each other. Maybe you can show him? Take these letters and show them to Jasper. They should make some kind of impression on him. Okay, we can do that. True love will save the day. I'm sorry if you can hear my budgies chirping in the background. They're actually in a separate room and they're just being that loud. I put them in a separate room so they wouldn't be chirping all throughout the video, but they're probably still going to be chirping all throughout the video, just not quite as loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, go Firebird. She's so cute. Firebird is so cute. I know we have that jacket from Justin, but I'm actually going to sell it because we're going to get another nicer jacket later and I could definitely use the shillings because we need to be able to take care of our dear Firebird. We'll slow down. Oh, Firebird really does not like this dude, do you? You don't like him. He's not that scary, Firebird. It's okay. It's okay. What? Are you here again? What's with all the papers? Let me have a look at that. It looks really old. I recognise that handwriting. Is it true? Were they really written by my daughter? No, I forged them. I wrote them. It's all fake. It's all a lie. 
When I read these letters from my beloved daughter, my heart weeps. I've been such a proud idiot all these years, and it's cost me my grandson. Sob, sob. Yeah, real men don't cry. They say sob, sob instead. <laughs> I have the title deed, and of course I will give it to Thomas Morland. That slime ball, Mr. Campbell, is a disgrace to this island. Here is the key to my deposit box in Fort Pinter. You'll find the title deed inside. Collect it and bring the key back to me before you say anything to Thomas Morland. From now on, you can ride across my land whenever you want. You will get to Fort Pinter by following the Fort Pinter Road here. You'll find the deposit box at the notary in the Fort Pinter main building. We can go to Fort Pinter! Why? What are we looking at? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so now we can pass through. I feel like... I feel like the police would probably come out and be like, why are you stopping people from going on this road that they have the complete right to? Like, you can't just block off a road like that. This is a main road. Um, there's a random girl just standing there looking kind of lost. Are you okay? It kind of looks like she was riding and her horse ran away with her. I should probably go stop and help her, but I mean, I don't really want to right now, so I'm not going to. Go find your horse yourself, girly. I remember being so excited to finally unlock Fort Pinter. Oh, and now we can also talk to um, Ferdinand and Eddie. But I want to, I want to go get these papers um, here in Fort Pinter. Let's go. It's so so weird being able to jump as a non-star rider. Wee. <laughs> okay. Here we are, Fort Pinter. I remember it being such a big thing, being able to go here. I was like, oh my gosh, a new location. Okay. Where's the notary? Somewhere around here. Oh. Okay, there he is. There are so many clones in Star Stable. So many characters that look the exact same. It's funny when the fashion week comes around, you can see all the clones together. I wonder who's behind that. Maybe GED. Is behind the cloning? <laughs> what are they? May oh, because yeah, cause all their workers look exactly the same. Maybe they're cloning their workers. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, deposit box key. Here you go, sir. We're not even gonna talk to him. We're just gonna. Okay. The deed to Mullen Stables. Okay. I'm gonna return this before I decide to talk to anyone in. Fort Pinter, but look how many quests we have! So many quests! Let's head on back. Um, excuse me, people. I don't want to run over you. Okay. Come on, Firebird. Oh, what a cute... What a cute pony. I love her so much. I can't wait to get her some cute tack and things so that she can... She can be all pretty. And I can't wait to get Phoenix some cool clothes so we can really show off her personality through her clothes and her hair and her makeup. That's going to be really cool. Okay, come on. You know, let's let's take a short cut, a short a short cut, a shortcut across the field here. We don't need to go by the main road. Let's ah, galloping on green grass. Beautiful. Okay. Oh. These doors I noticed a while back, they now have this creepy music. I really want to know what's underneath these doors, and I feel like a lot of us do as well. Like, why are there these strange sounds coming from it? And the creepy music. Hello, Jasper. Hello. Thanks for getting the title deed. These are the old legal documents... These are the old legal documents that show that Thomas is the rightful owner of Moreland Stables. And you brought my key back too. Great, thank you. Thanks once again. Okay, no problem. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, but in the next one, I'm going to take the documents back to Thomas, and then I think I'm going to go around and talk to some of the other different people that... Um, have quests for us but uh yes i hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh we've been able to get to fort penta and met some new people so in the next one we'll take these documents over and wait i already said that what am i talking about anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye